In this section, you will learn the nine basic steps to three strand. One, gather tools. Two, tape the bitter end. Three, do a whipping. Four, tape the strands separately. Five, measure for the eye. Six, label the strands. Seven, do seven passes. Eight, taper. And nine, melt the ends. First, we're going to talk about three strand splicing. Three strand braid is mainly used for dock lines and anchor lines. Three strand braid is three different strands braided together to make three strand. Let's go over some tools. First, you will need scissors or a knife. You will need a three strand fid, a sharpie marker, whipping twine, a sewing needle, or a sailmaker's needle is preferred. Electrical tape, we're going to use Marlowe's tape today. A ruler and a heat source, we're going to use a hot knife. All right, let's get started with the splice. First, we're going to start by finding the bitter end. If there's any frayed ends, you want to have a sharp end. So we're going to tape. cut off the frayed ends. This gives us a good starting point. Now we're going to count 18 ribs. When this strand is woven together and you put your hand across it, you will feel the ribs. Each one of these makes a rib. So we're going to count 18 ribs. So here's 18 ribs, and we're going to make a mark. At this mark, we're going to do a whipping. If you're not sure how, please refer back to the whipping section of this DVD. So we found the bitter end, we taped it, we cut and made the bitter end. We measured and made the whipping. So now, let's move on. We're going to undo the tape at the very end. And each strand, we're going to tape separately. It's very easy to have these strands come apart on you, so you must tape really tight. Might take you a few times. Where's this? It's okay to over tape each end. You do not want them to come apart halfway through the splice. All right, so now we're going to unweave the three strand all the way to that whipping, just like that. Now we're going to take the ruler and we're going to measure. We're going to make a 10 inch eye. So it's about a 10 inch eye. The reason why we're going to do a 10 inch eye is a 10 to a 12 inch eye works great around a cleat. We will mark the opposite side of where the whipping is. Alright, so now after we've marked the line, let's put away our ruler here, we're going to take each three strand, each one of these braids, and we're going to label them. <clears throat> one, two, and three. I'm just going to put marks. That's two. That's three. After you do this splice a few times, you will not need to mark them one, two, and three. It just helps you out at, at the beginning. All right, so now we'll go back to that mark we had. And we'll take the three strand fit. We're going to insert it and single out one strand. 
we're going to take number one and insert it through the fid underneath the strand and pull it tight. We'll do that over again with number two. I like to go <clears throat> next to, we'll go under this strand and we'll come, we'll come out where the first one went in, under a separate strand. Here's number two. Pull that through. Go back to number one, pull it tight, and then to two, pull it tight. Now we're going to number three. Number three has to go over and under. If you notice, we have number one, and it kind of gets in the way. It's hard to get the fid through there and out the other side without grabbing one of these strands. So what I recommend doing is going above number one, you're going over the same same strand and under the one you want to go under. And then you take number one and you push it around the fid, underneath the fid. See, so now we're going over and under for number three. That'll make it easier so you don't grab any pixels. All right, so there goes your first pass. If you notice, you look again, Make sure each strand comes out in a separate part of the rope, not together. I'm going to do this seven times. The recommended amount of times we're going to do this is five. I like to do it seven. I think it's a little bit stronger and you don't have to worry about uh, it ever coming apart on you. All right, so let's do it again. We're at number three again. We're, we're going to go above, enter in up here, make sure you don't grab any pixels, pull it underneath the fid, and then now we can enter it in. Over, under. It's good every time you do this splice to pull each strand taut. So if you have a strand pulled out like this, you're going to have to find that strand and pull it tight. Sometimes it's difficult. Find each little strand. We will find it. There it is. So, sometimes you'll have to do that to keep it tight so you don't break a strand. All right. Each one's coming out separately again. So, let's start with number 1 again. Sometimes the line will get tight on you. You can roll the line to open it up a little bit to get the fid under the bundle there. There we 
go. That tight. Number two. Over under. So far, we have done one, two, three, four passes. So we want to get seven. Okay, over under again. And the last one, just number three. Over under. We'll go above the one in front of it. Spin that around. Um, it's over, under. Okay, that's all right. So to finish a three strand splice, we're going to do a taper. It's actually extremely easy. What we're going to do is we're going to start with number one. We're not going to do anything with number one. We're just going to pull them nice and tight. Make sure there's no pulled strands anywhere. And we're going to go straight to number two. Same thing is going over and under. it. So you notice both these now are on one side together. So now we're going to go to number three over under. And you're going to do number three again over under. You go. Now they all end up in a row. It's basically a very simple taper. You could pan it out and do each one twice to have a longer taper. Uh, I think it's not necessary. Now we're going to end the splice. We're going to use the hot knife at this point. A three strand splice will soak up some of these under high load. So we're going to leave a little bit of a tail. Get the hot knife to heat up here. Also when I hot knife it, I kind of twist the line just so it cuts the bundles all together without unfraying. Squeeze it together. It can be hot. Next one. A little bit of the fumes won't hurt you. I wouldn't recommend breathing in a bunch of them. All right, there we go. That's a three strand splice.
I'm going to show you one way to splice three strand onto chain. So first, you take your strands, you're going to put two going in one way, and one of the strands going in between the two going the opposite direction. To make this splice even more durable, you can also add a piece of heat shrink. So now we're going to start a typical three strand splice. Let's review the steps for three strand splicing. One, gather tools. Two, tape the bitter end. Three, do a whipping. Four, tape the strands separately. Five, measure for the eye. Six, label the strands. Seven, do seven passes. Eight, taper. And nine, melt the ends.